chance they came on a devil's game and gosh they paid the price paid the, the price, price. but and now the adventure is done on the only thing i have got to do is show you guys the stuff that we have not done. Hey everybody! It is your best friend and mine, Lava Cabin 2000. That makes no sense, and I don't care. And welcome to the extras video for Cuphead. This has been a long time coming, and I don't actually care all that much because this has been on the back of my mind for a while. Because in all actuality. There really isn't a whole lot of extra stuff that I missed. I, I got most of the stuff uh, in the game. I got all of the coins, I got all of the items, I got all of the soul contracts. But there are, there are stuff that we did miss. It's just barely there. So, with that being in mind, today we're going to be going through all of the, the three main things that we miss, as well as some of the New Game Plus stuff that we actually unlocked as a result of beating the game, and we'll be talking about some of the other stuff that we missed, long story short. This is going to be more of a slideshow of me showing you guys all of the stuff that we could have done in our epic adventure, but didn't. And yeah, so with that being said, let us begin our adventures back at Inkwell Isle. First things first, uh, last time in our entirety of our adventure we went with Cuphead, so let's go ahead and play as Moon Man. We're not going to do very many levels here. Kicking things off with probably the most obvious one that I missed. Um... As you can see here, um, I don't think I brought it up very much last time, but there is actually a bad ending to this game. What you have to do is, when you're f getting ready to find the devil himself, you have an option as to whether or not you want to turn over the soul contracts. If you say no, this will instigate the final fight of the game with the devil, which I already completed if you guys saw my Cuphead Let's Play. However, you can also choose to give him the contracts, and, well, this will be the end result. Well, oh well, look, look how far you've come. Not only did you bust up my good-for-nothing lackey King Dice, but I see you've got those soul contracts as agreed. Hand them over and join my team. Last time I said no? You're mine now, and we're gonna have a hell of a time down here. <laughs> and we get an achievement titled Selling Out. <laughs> You can also do this, after you view the credits for the very first time. You can actually go back, just zoom by pressing down any key on your keyboard or controller, just in general. Very, very long credits list. Fiend. Once you do that... Well, 
that right there is the introductory thing, but backwards. And that's basically all that is. Once you have completed every single boss battle in the entire game, you can unlock a new mode, Expert Mode. Expert Mode, which I refuse to try because I am not a masochist, is um, a mode where the enemies are a lot harder, as we already shown off in the episode where I killed my greatest rival to this day, Grim Matchstick. Uh, there is a simple mode, a regular mode, and then there's also an expert mode. Uh, expert mode is the only way to run definitively 100% the game, and in ordering to get the best possible ranking, which is an S rank, you have to complete a expert boss fight without getting hit, otherwise the only thing you can do is A rank. In addition to this, and I need to pull up my phone for this, but there are also two color filters for this main game. The first one is, let me check, it's a strip color mode, and I will throw in a photo of it uh, on screen for you guys to see uh, right now. Uh, in order to get the script, um, the red strip, the two color strip mode, uh, yeah, two, co uh, two strip color mode, that's what it's called, you uh, need to get at least nine A ranks on the boss fights in the main game. And I don't think I ever actually made an A rank, but then again, I wasn't trying to. I was just trying to beat the game. Um, an NPC on Inkle Isle 3 will encourage you to complete them all, but there is nothing that you will get from completing them all, other than getting an achievement for getting all A ranks across the main game. The second one, however, is a little bit more interesting. I've talked to this NPC loads. I think this is him, right? There is another color thing. It is a black and white mode. It is a monochrome mode. Uh, basically, across the six running gun levels throughout the main story, uh, of the six, there are six of them, and each one gives you an A, B, or C rank depending on how well you do. However, if you go through the level without hitting a single enemy, you will unlock a P rank, regardless of how well you did. If you get a P rank, or a pacifist rank, on all six levels, you will unlock a black and white mode, hence the shade of gray line that this turtle receives to you. I'll throw up a photo of it on screen right now if you guys want to see it. Um, so, yeah. And that's really about it. It's a very small extras video. There's not a whole lot that we haven't seen. So yeah. But yeah, no, that is about it. Outside of the two filters and the alternate ending, that is about it. Like, for the main stories and stuff. I'm not going for expert mode. I'm not going to do expert mode let's play. I just want to do this quick little video to sort of cover the bare bones basics that we didn't get to see across the main story, the two color filters, and the alternative ending, since I only got the good ending last time. And that's it. Uh, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, as you guys probably saw, I'm using my stock, uh, my filler video intro and outro, because I don't feel like I have to create a new intro for Cuphead if it's going to be this only video, so, sorry. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys later. Please like, comment, subscribe. Join my Discord server. We've got one now going. Uh, it is a Roblox game server for the Five Nights Museum, but I post my videos and shit in there. Uh, sorry for swearing. Um, and follow me on Twitter if that's your cup of tea. Next time on... Well, next time on my channel, we are going to... 
probably start a new Let's Play. Like, if this goes up on Friday, we'll have a week's wait where I'll be working on the new project. By the way, the new project is going to be another long project. Uh, but yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Love Kurdism, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.